Hi Reed, hope you're all doing well and welcome to episode 4 of the Leeds United Career Mode. So in this one we're going to be playing through the month of October, I was going to say August there. We've got West Brom up first, then we've got Millwall, we've got Birmingham, Preston and then at the end of the episode we've got Sheffield Wednesday. So I'm not going to waste any time in this one, let's get straight into it. So first game up, West Brom, we're at home in this one. I've got a feeling it's going to be a difficult game but... Got to keep the faith. Marin. Is Roberts in here? Is that 1 0? It is. Come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Nice quick start. Oh, I had a feeling he was offside there. But just to start that, we're hoping for. Hopefully, we can keep it up. Roberts looks like he's in again. He is. Come on, son. Make it two. He has! Come on! There we go! Oh, Roberts has been a difference in this one. Maybe I should be playing him more often. And Ketia. Phillips is making the run. Pass wasn't good enough. That one was though, for sure. How's he missed? How have you missed, son? Oh, he's done us. Pull one back. I had a feeling it was coming. They've been pressuring us all game. Just done us here. Bit of skill. Slips past him. Bottom corner. Oh my god. Same thing's happened again. 2 0 up. That was the weakest goal ever, that. Look at the state of this. Like, Casilla normally does great. It's over. Look at the state of that. It, oh my god. There we go then. Same story, 2-0 up, and then we've ended up drawing 2-2. Two -two. It's just not good enough. I seriously need to improve me defending at the back leg. See what they've got to say here. Hi, uh, just a couple of questions. Hi, what was that like? Robert's amazing goal scored by Leeds United in today's draw. Any comments on his performance? A great performance by Roberts. 10 out of 10. That being said, the rest of the team weren't quite there. A tie was fitting for our performance. I agree with that one leg. Like. Surely the late West Brom goal was part of the game plan. It wasn't part of the game plan. What's your view on the match? That's football. What can you do? There's no need to dwell on it. We're already focusing on the next match. Wow. We all saw two evenly matched teams going head-to-head -head in today's match. By looking at the scoreboard, it seemed... What? Two very strong defences. It wasn't like, but what can you do? Both... W Percent ones and percent twos deserved it. There's definitely still glitches galore in this leg, but that's not the main issue. Well, <laughs> that certainly wasn't how I was planning on things going. What's going up here? Oh, we've got a youth report from Brennan, or Brennan even. See if you can do the business for her. Morgan, 76 to 94 potential. We're saying him up. J. Bell. Saying that lad up as well. He's useless. Sorry, son. And no to him. Hey, yeah, it's fair enough. While we're here, we've done that. May as well have a quick look at these, see what they're looking like. So, a Cameron Alexander left mid between 70 and 86. Henry Lee, he's not looking too good. I might release him. Morgan Ward, he's only at 52. These aren't looking fantastic. He looks all right, like, as a goalkeeper. Six foot four. May get him in the team once he hits a 60. And then J Bell, 57 overall. I think we need to definitely get them trained up, like. We'll go for Reese Hall and J Bell, I think, in the in the training in the future. But onto this game. Against Millwall. We'll attend this press conference. See if we can get the morale up. We'll need it after that last game. It's not been the greatest start of the season so far, and challenging for the title looks to be a difficult ask now. Do you think the quality? Do you have the quality to get back? Of course we do. We're always thinking positively, and I'm confident we've got the quality to still challenge for the title. Have you prepared for the next match against your rival, Millwall? Well, I suppose, eh? We are ready. We've done everything we could to ensure we're in peak form for this match. You say you had a bit of a mixed bag in terms of results recently as a manager. Have you 
reacted to this seemingly erratic patch. You'll see what we're made of. I'm 100% sure our form will improve and you'll see what the team is made of soon enough. Fingers crossed! <laughs> so I'm going to be giving 4-3-3 formation a try in this one. Even though we're not fantastic at the back, I think we need to be attacking more. We did score two goals in the last one, so if we can keep doing that, even if we're conceding some, if we can outscore them, at least we'll win the games. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. Hernandez. Gibbs White. Marin. Gibbs White. Bordeaux. He's offside, any? Oh, man. Phillips. Gibbs White. Bordeaux. Graham Birch. De La Vega. What? Come on, mate. Dinks it over. Easy for Bordeaux. Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. He was never missing that one, like. Just a little dink. Smashes his head on it. Bordeaux, what you doing? I do not believe that. All because what the hell Bordeaux was thinking there. 1-1. One, one. Conceded yet again. Gibbs White, what are you playing at? Davis off the lane. Come on, man. Plays it back. Easy for Gibbs White. Yeah, come on. There we go. 2-1. This is more like it. Playing a lot better with a 4-3-3. Like. Couldn't have missed that. Still Hernandez. Come on, son. Get the ball in. To the back. Oh, Nelly. Come on. Oh. Is that a goal? Is that going to be it or is that offside? Oh. Had a feeling. Had a f oh, man. Gibbs White. Bordeaux in here. Bordeaux. Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. 3-1 now. We've got to have won this. There we go then. 3-1. I'm happy with that. Like I say, I think I'm definitely going to be going 4-3-3. We're tacked so much more. We're still a bit susceptible at the back, but still. It's going to be the new formation going forward. See what they've got to ask with this time. Hernandez is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance? I mean, he was fairly decent. Deserves all the praise. There we go. With two goals to secure the win, Bordeaux was a hero today. Any thoughts? An impressive performance from Bordeaux. It was a world-class performance. There you go. How do you feel about Sealand Millwall's fate? This, they will most likely re relegate... What? Something about them being relegated from that? It's a competition. We're not that far into this season. Jesus. All teams give their all and play their best football, so make it something. Cheers, for the it does go off far too fast. Next game up then, and we're at home to Birmingham. I think this will be another interesting one, definitely. And like I said, just so you can see this, we're going to be playing 4-3-3 from now on. If it's anything like the last game, I've got a good feeling about this one. Bordeaux. This pair in their last matches. Gibbs, wait! Come on! Is that on side? It is! Come on! Oh, he's been the difference, him, like, since going 4-3-3. Nice little pass from Bordeaux as well, though. Did well to keep hold of the ball there. They will go, though, 1-0. This is more like it. Bordeaux's made his way through. Oh, nearly. Oh, oh God, man. So close. Out of white. Early cross. Bordeaux. Oh. Bordeaux. Gibbs White again. Oh. Should have been two. There we go then. It was only a 1-0. But still. It's three points. And we're second win. So I'm happy with that. So after that game. We've currently bumped ourselves up to fourth. We've closed the gap. There's only one point in it now. So. I'm liking the looks of this. We're only 12 games in, like, but it's definitely better than being seventh. So we're waiting to Preston in this one. And if we play like we have in the past couple of games, I'm hopeful that we're going to get another three points. Silva. Cardozo. 
Could he get his first goal? He can't come on, son! He's been a pretty good buy, I must admit. I've only played him a couple of times, but every time he just seems, I don't know, the ball just sticks to him. He's quick. Oh, I'm happy about that. Oh, Preston could be in here. I think, oh, ball's in. How, what, how many times are we going to concede a goal like that? The state of it. Kasia can have the most amazing games and then he can go and do something like this. Such a weak goal. Look at that man. Like, what's he doing? Oh, he's got the pace, he's passed him. Come on, four shots. Still on the ball. Get the ball in the box. Back post. Oh, nearly. And Ketty and Shackleton coming on for Silva and Cardozo. Hopefully some fresh legs. It'll do the business for her. Ketia. Could he be the ideal sub? Nah. Press not in here. Save from Casilla. Jesus. Shackleton, he's just taking the shot. Oh. Well, 1-1. One, one. Not good enough. It just seems to be every time that I rotate the team, second team just can it produce but there we go we had a, chan a chance a chance of going top and we've blown it so <laughs> what can you do last game of the episode then and we're away to Sheffield Wednesday I'm, I don't know I don't know how I feel about that last game but it's not we're back down to sixth how the tables can turn what we're going to do we're going to attend this press conference I think the morale needs boosted so we'll see what they've got to say and hopefully It'll be what we need to go on to win this next game. Right, no team managed to beat you in the last five. Do you hope to keep the unbeaten streak going? We believe we can continue the run. Have you prepared for the next match against your rival Sheffield Wednesday? We're ready. We've done everything we could. We're in peak form. Inconsistent results of late. It won't be easy, but it never is. There we go. Reasonably successful, that. Now, we need to get into that game. Gibbs White, they've left him too much space. I'm going to go to Lonia. Gibbs White. Oh. Gibbs White this time. Hudson. Come on, son. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Nice early goal. This is more like it. Bordeaux, is it two? <laughs> yes, come on. Bordeaux makes it two. Oh man, the difference in the team. I know it's obviously the first team, but come on. Bordeaux's turned into quite the player, like. I don't think he's missing chances like that. I see him making that run. Phillips. Can he make it three? He can! Yes, come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. You take a bow. I don't know where he started that run from, like, just came out of nowhere. Happy he did it, though. That's got to be this one now, three goals up. They were going 3 0. I'm buzzing about that. I don't know if maybe I was calling De La Vega and Marin during that, so if you do pick up on his, there you go. But I'm glad that we're going to end the episode on a win. Definitely happy about it. So, with that win, let's see where we're sitting in the table. We're currently in fourth. We've got Cardiff City above with them, West Brom and Stoke City are top. There's only a point in it though, so that little unbeaten run that we've had, I'm really happy with that and it's really turned things around for us. I mean, I think we're seventh when we started this, so it's looking good. But I am going to leave things there, so if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, maybe subscribe. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.